Splatfest. Whether you're in it to win it for your favorite option or repping your favorite idol, you can't run from 48 hours of turf war. <laughs> but tell me, what makes all these inklings and octolings in the plaza's brains click? We've had Pokemon, Splatoon, a bajillion food Splatfests. So what does your favorite Splatfest say about you? You're actually very smart. Who's gonna open their hand all the way to pick paper anyway? That's your train of thought. Hey Siri, uh, what should I pick for rock, paper, scissors? Hey, hey, I'll admit to it, hey. Uh, I chance your favorite character early on was Pigman. Or maybe you just like that cool red color. If someone has a question, you're the first one to Google search for an answer. You're either a good cook or a good eater. No in between, and not both. If anyone in the friend group has a YouTube playlist ready for the hangout, it's you. Yay! In your first Pokemon playthrough, you overleveled your whole team by spending way too much time in the tall grass. Just in case. That's okay. In your first Pokemon playthrough, you only used attacking moves. And you know what? That's okay. In your first Pokemon playthrough, your starter Pokemon was hilariously overleveled. And that's okay. Hey guys, if I order this, will someone eat it with me? Guys? <laughs> Hello? Oh no, uh oh. You cannot go to the grocery store alone without something extra from the baked goods section finding its way home. Your people's favorite friend after Halloween for candy trading because you prefer uncommon sour candies over sweets. Your people's other favorite friend after Halloween for candy trading. Any holiday with chocolate is very high on your list. For the sales that happen after they're over, yes. Mm, you're not letting anything go to waste, any weird candy until you try it first, all right? Thank you. <sighs> Anytime someone spreads misinfo about a creature, information you know that isn't true you're ready to go erm actually you really hoped the area 51 raid would have worked you grew up hearing about bigfoot from your family and actually do believe in it or at least you liked how fun it was to talk about ah you picked team villain in splatoon too didn't you uh you really liked the blue color and and you hoped that people on Team Wisdom would be really, really smart, and you'd like instantly win. Didn't work, but you guys are pretty close. Second place. Second place, not that bad. All right, all right, all right. Open up your Switch. Go to your profile. Look how many hours you have in whatever Tears of the Kingdom Breath of the Wild game you have closest to the top. Now, now, turn to the left. Talk to a friend. Do you have more hours than them? If the answer is yes, this team choice makes a lot of sense. You like what you like. Even if it's common or basic, actually makes you like super loyal. You laugh when nobody else chooses strawberry. More for you! You really like specifically minty things a lot. Minty gum, minty ice cream, minty candies. Your people's other, other favorite friend after Halloween. You wonder where all your money went, and then you look to the shell out machine. Hmm. You think the idea of having merchandise in your name actually sounds like really awesome. Do you get a little emotional when watching heartstring tugging random TV show clips on social media? It's okay. Me too. Wait, Shiver wasn't already the leader? You may have wrote a lot of paragraphs for this Splatfest. You know, since Fry probably has the most credentials to be a good leader in reality, but shh. Um, actually, Big Man was the one that composes all the music for Deep Cut, so... You can't finish a zombie apocalypse movie if it's bad. Sorry, not happening. Nobody is even surprised when you start blasting spooky, scary skeletons anymore. Every October 1st. You're the last person to stop going trick-or-treating in the friend group. Oh, what's that? You, you still haven't stopped trick-or-treating? Well, don't worry. You will be the last. You're the type to travel very light to make sure you have at least one free hand at all times. Maybe a backpack if you're feeling silly. Ever since they added the fist bump mechanic, you're the always the first one to yell. Anybody? Anybody have three golds? Yes! You always ask before you hug, because you hug notoriously tight. Someone has to be taking those candid photos of the friend group, and that someone's you! You treat others around you like family too. Ah, how does it feel to be so whimsical? You're great at finding stuff to do. Uh, for yourself, of course. Someone else can plan the group activities. 
by the time Tuesday rolls around, you're already thinking about Friday. Honestly, you not talking about Friday would probably make your friends think you got, like, hacked or something. Uh, so how late were you up last night? One, two, don't tell me three. You probably had a really good time in your school years. You actually choose the instrumental versions of songs when they're available online. Few things make you want to cry, but seeing someone break an instrument on stage is definitely one of them. Your goal in life, not just in music, is to be a jack of all trades. Master of, uh, maybe, maybe, maybe one, maybe two, if you're feeling really motivated. You buy holiday decorations for the aesthetic, not for the holiday. You're already thinking about next year's Easter chocolate sales now, aren't you? You've edited at least one meme with a baby animal on it and sent it to the friend group. It's, it's okay. You've got food stored in your basement for the end of the world. Better, uh, better check the expiration date on those rations, okay? You're actually the friend people want to have during a real apocalypse. Seriously, there's probably like so much knowledge up in that noggin. And if not, uh, at least you know how to have a good time until the world probably comes to an end. So, one round of applause for you. Yippee! Maybe even two if things work out. Who knows? You had at least one very long multi-paragraph discussion about this Splatfest while it was active. It's okay. We all have our one. Ah, uh, it's too late for you. You're a sucker for the fun, silly merchandise that tourist attractions sell. Hey, you're keeping them in business. You're the planner of the friend group. That's it. Thank you for your service. Like, like, like seriously, thank you. Thank you. Your friend group goes to the beach because if it was a pool, uh, you'd never get out. You'd be there all day. The second you saw the carbs fest, you were hungry. And honestly, you haven't stopped thinking about tasty bread since. It's okay. All right, all right, all right. How many times have you had rice this week? Tell me, don't be shy. I've had it twice. Do you know what they say, guys? A picture is worth a thousand words. Oh yeah. <laughs> You're the friend that's nostalgic about everything. And that's great. You're like, a, you're like a personal memory bank. Go you. You're either happy with how things are for yourself right now, or you just really like off the hook, and that's okay too. Come on, don't be shy. Tell me how many Splatoon 4 theories you've made already. It's okay. That's Splatfest for you, fellas. I hope you enjoyed this very true video. I haven't done one of these, honestly, in like a really long time. So I hope you had fun, and thank you for watching. See you later. Good luck in the remaining fests if you're watching this before September. Woo!